Hi everyone. I'm Susan with Pigtail Quilting and Stitching. Welcome to my channel. On this video, um, since it's before Thanksgiving, I kind of wanted to talk about a program that I started back in 2000 and it's still going today, going on today. And our local quilt guild um, supports this and it's called the Adopted Bear Program. And what this, this program does, it provides a little teddy bear and then we make these little uh, teddy bear size quilts to go with them. And um, we give these to the ho our local hospital and then the staff, nurses and um, medical support people give them out to the children that come through their emergency room um, in the pediatric department, radiology, uh, even um, now we go through uh, children's bereavement. So uh, children that have lost um, an important loved one in their life um, through ho hospice or grandparent or parent also received one of these. And it's, it's just um, a program that started out very small with one bear and one quilt um, from a friend of mine whose um, little girl was in the hospital when she was just barely over a year old. And um, I will talk about more of that in the video and the inspiration from how Adoptive Bear got started. But since 2000, um, we have uh, given out over 6,000 little teddy bears and quilts. And as you can see, this is our bear that we have done now. We've evolved through the bears. We've had different bears in the past, but right now we have this little one with a hoodie and it says Adoptive Bear on it. And I will kind of show you how we uh, get those ready to uh, send, have them available uh, to the medical staff so they can give them out and um, how that works. But through so many generous quilters have made so many through the years and continue to support it. That has just been such, so, so much fun and so important to be able to give back to the community with our quilting. And I know a lot of um, other quilters do the same thing and in, in their area, other areas of the country um, have so many other projects too. But on the card that we give out with this bear, it says, uh, please take care of this bear. Give it lots of love and a name. So uh, let's get started. some of the little adopter bears sitting on top of the quilts that were made by our uh, quilt, quilters in our guild and they bring them to the meeting monthly meeting and I take them and um, take them to the hospital and here's the little bears that are sitting on them their little adopter bear and you can kind of see this is the little card that we uh, put in each bag with the quilt and the bear that says, adopt a bear. Please take care of this bear. Give it lots of love and a name. I also have some uh, Christmas quilts that I'll show next. And then when we, this, these bears are taken and the, and the quilts are taken to the hospital, uh, we have certain seasons and we have them all separated out. So the holiday ones and um, then we have fall ones and, and just different kinds throughout the year so that it makes it easier for the staff when they're um, choosing a quilt and a bear for one of the, the children. And you can see at the top of the stairs where I have these um, bears, uh, the little bags. And that's usually what we, we put the bears in
And that's what's delivered to the children. It's a little blue bag with a bear and a quilt and a little card inside. And one thing that's so, so much fun about these little quilts is that they're small enough where if you have leftover blocks or just scraps from other projects that you can easily make them into a little cute little quilt. And next I'll show you some of the little Christmas holiday quilts. So here are some Christmas quilts for the little adopt bears And you can see that they're just made um, maybe from a one block of something, like even a, a 12 inch block, an eight inch block, and maybe little borders put around it. And some are just made with uh, leftover pieces or little scraps and they kind of design their own little patterns. It's always been so much fun just to see what these quilters come up with. Just their creative ways. But this project has been so much fun and uh, it's, it's just been fun to be able to do this with other quilters and we've had sew days together where we get together and make the quilts and work on them. So, just lots of fun to make. And when I take them into the hospital uh, and give, you know, drop them off, it, it, they're just always so so happy to get them and, and and excited for the children. And, and like I said before, we've we've done over 6,000 now. So it's it's really been so nice to be able to to be able to provide that many to the community for these children. The inspiration behind Adopt a Bear is a little Emma. Little Emma was just over a year old when she was um, playing with their family pet, their family dog, and she had a little stick in her hand and her, the dog went to grab the stick out of little Emma's hand and accidentally took Emma's index finger with it. And Emma had to be in the hospital for quite a long time and was facing a lot of surgeries. And fortunately, the surgeons were able to successfully attach Emma's finger back to her hand. But Emma had a long recovery ahead of her and a couple more surgeries after that. So when Emma was in the hospital, I got her a little teddy bear and I made her a little quilt and I took it up to her. And when I was up there, I just was thinking, oh, wouldn't it be nice if, if um, there was something that other children would be able to have uh, something like this too while they were in the hospital? Because it's so hard to have a, a child in the hospital um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard having them there and um, it's hard on the parents as well. So that is kind of the inspiration behind the start of Adopt-A-Bear. And after Emma, you know, she had her, her surgeries and um, gosh, she went on to be, everything was just fine. She was able to do everything she needed to do. In fact, she went on to a very successful college basketball career. And she played in high school as well, but she just thrived in, in playing basketball. And um, still today is just a lovely young person.
So thanks for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed a little bit about uh, the adopt bear program and how it got started and the inspiration behind the adopt bear and um, all the children that it's helped over the last, gosh, 21 years. So I um, hope you subscribe to my channel and I thank you for watching. And uh, next video will be all about decorating for Christmas using quilts. So that, that will be next. So thanks for watching.